hello my dear students i am back with one more video about the uses of dummy variable regression model so in last couple of classes we have we have been discussing uh, various uses of dummy variable regression model okay and today we are going to see how we can do or how we can use the dummy variable to deseasonalize certain time series data okay so usually a time series data with a shorter uh, span of time that means especially when the duration of the time series is very short especially when we are dealing with weekly monthly or quarterly data it exhibit or it shows as some seasonal patterns okay so this seasonal patterns are due to this seasonal pattern are due to many factors so when you look at the sales sales of cakes you can see the sales has been uh, the sales will shows a very increasing tendencies at the christmas period that means the last week of the december okay and when you look at the uh, at uh, when you look at the atm transactions you can see the atm transactions or what we generally call the demand for money will be very high during holidays or weekend days okay and if you look at the demand for ice creams and demand for soft drinks it will be very high in summer okay and if you look at the uh, crops prices of crops right after harvesting period okay and demand for air towel during school vacations okay? so if you look at all this kind of data you can see for a particular period of time there may be a certain increase in the data or maybe or there may be a certain decrease in the data okay and this tendency you can see only for a shorter period of time okay and this kind of a increasing or decreasing tendency or certain increase and certain decrease due to certain seasonal fluctuations is known as a seasonal compound in a time series okay and the thing is that you might have learned for time series there are four main components trend seasonal fluctuations then cyclical fluctuations and irregular fluctuations okay and if all these fluctuations are uh, controlled then only we will be able to get a very good idea about a particular set of data so what we have to do here when a data contains the seasonal pattern we have to remove the seasonality in the data or seasonality from the data okay so the process of removing the seasonal components from a time series is known as deseasonalization or seasonal adjustment okay so a data which is uh, a data that is obtained after this this uh, deseasonalization process is known as deseasonalized data or seasonally adjusted time series okay and if you look at the red may data or secondary data available on monthly or quarterly basis like unemployment rate consumer price index wholesale price index okay then index of industrial productions all these data are usually published after seasonally adjusting okay so seasonal adjustment is a very important uh, process in secondary data okay especially when we are dealing with demand and sales data this seasonality will be always present okay then how we can deseasonalize the data for that there are many many different methods there are a large number of methods are available for deseasonalization and we can also use the dummy variable technique as an alternative method to deseasonalize the data okay then now if you look at this data this is the data 
on sales from 1986 quarter 1 to 1992 quarter 2 okay if you look at this data what kind of observation you can make this is look in all the years look at this what is the data in different quarters in all the quarters in quarter four there is a sudden increases in the sales okay so what we have to do in all the in different in all the quarters or especially in quarter four there is a sudden demand for the sudden increases in the sales or sudden demand for the commodity and due to this fact the sales is becoming high in a particular period of time okay so the thing is that if we want to do any analysis any statistical analysis on this data if we are not removing the trend then your this trend values or these highest values in quarter three will be uh, will affect the overall results I mean, especially when we, when we are dealing when we are using regression then this the value of this court uh, this fourth quarter will influence the overall regression results so what we have to do we have to remove this seasonality or the seasonal uh, values <coughs> okay so what we can do to see uh, to see or to use the dummy variable technique in this we can specify an equation like yt is sales is equal to gamma 1 gamma d gamma 1 d 1 plus gamma 2 d 2 plus gamma 3 d 3 plus error terms look at this here what i am doing here there are four quarters quarter 1 quarter 2 quarter 3 quarter 3 quarter 3 and quarter 4 but i am assigning only three dummies here what we, what i am doing is i am following the m minus 1 rules if there are m category we have to use m minus 1 dummy here there are four category i have to use only three dummies and i have to use this intercept okay then here i am assigning d1 for first quarter zero otherwise okay d2 for the second quarter zero otherwise d3 for third quarter and zero otherwise okay so what we'll get here we will get this kind of a uh, we can uh, understand on the base of this zero one value we can understand which quarter is that okay so if it is one zero zero it will be quarter one one zero one zero quarter two 0 0 1 quarter 3 okay that in all this in all these dummies if you are taking the otherwise then we will get 0 0 0 it will be quarter 4 okay so this value will tell alpha or the intercept will tell us what is this uh, intercept or what is the average sales during this quarter 4 okay and if we are if we are confused with this assigning dummies then don't worry about it you can assign the dummy for each quarter then you will have four dummies but you won't have intercept okay in this way also you can assign the dummy okay so what we have to, how we will do how how we can do this analysis there are four steps for that okay first step is you find out the yt and ut that means you find out the estimated yt and estimated ut that is y cap t and the u cap t okay second step find out the unconditional mean value of yt conditional mean value and the unconditional mean values are there you find out the unconditional averages okay then what you have to do add 
ut with unconditional mean value of y okay and this will consist your seasonally adjusted yt okay let me see how let us see how we can do these things okay it's very simple things okay so this is our data yeah look at this d1 d1 0 d2 0 and d3 is also 0 okay then uh, look at this data what we have to do this is a sales okay then you go to data data analysis then regression uh, this is a y range and this is the x range yes so label is there you just click ok yes okay <clears throat> this is our coefficients yeah okay now what you have to do you have to find out the estimated sales estimated sales or what we called sales cap how we can do that it is intercept plus okay then this into d1 plus this into d2 plus this into d3 okay so here we are multiplying the estimated slope coefficient with corresponding explanatory variables okay so uh, this is constant this is also constant and this also constant okay now we have got the estimated sales and if you drag it for all you will get the estimated y okay, let me see whether it's correct or not no it is not correct sorry for that okay. our intercept is also yes now it will be okay yes okay so what we have done we have find out the estimated sales okay then what's next you find out the error terms okay error term is nothing but this is the actual sales but when you estimate the sales you have got this difference minus 19 and if you do it for all you will get all these differences okay now what you have to do you have to find out the mean value of sales okay so this is the average average of this sales how much you have got 98.126 okay so this y bar is equal to uh, 98.12636 okay then it is applicable to all because it is not conditional but unconditional unconditional mean we will get only one value okay then what is next then sales forecast or sales uh, decisionalized means this is this plus this u cap plus y bar 78 okay and do it for all you will get this kind of a things okay so this is your sales this is uh, sales and this is your actual sales okay you just 
select both and go to insert then you do then you plot this then what you can see okay this uh, orange line will sh orange line shows that the sales value the actual sales value but in this data there is a seasonality uh, exist okay and we have removed the seasonality now you look at this blue lines there is no seasonality okay so this way for doing this desensitization we can take the use of the dummy variable technique okay and this is the another use of this dummy variable models i hope you have uh, understood the things you have understood the concept and how to do these things practically using excel okay yes thank you